Good morning. It is day three of the fast and I'm headed down for a swim this morning in the ocean. It's been a long, long time, but I am super stoked to get back and there's no better way to wake up in the morning than to get a good swim in in the a.m. I uh, had a few dizzy spells so far, um, nothing major, but I see the end could be near for the dry. I also slept pretty solid, so I was happy with my sleep considering that um, there's such you know four hour time change from California, so very happy with how my sleep was. And it's gonna be a fantastic day. I woke up this morning, uh, one to 52.4, so down 12 pounds uh, in the first 58 hours of my dry fast. So the water weight comes off really quickly. So it's raining and cold, so going to try again this afternoon to get a swim in. Hola, como estas? Back in Puerto Rico, gotta work on my Spanish because I've totally been not doing very good at that. I was supposed to go swimming this morning, that didn't work out. I went ahead and came back in. I just laid down, started editing videos, getting everything up and ready to go. You know, I told myself that I wasn't gonna be indulging in as many videos at this go around, but let me tell you what, I am continuously indulging in videos, fasting, carnivore, all that good stuff. I told myself I wasn't gonna look at food. I keep on looking on the raw milk website to like figure out where I can get raw, uh, milk, raw cheese, once I break this fast. I'm in the middle of a dry fast. Let me see how many hours I've hit so far. Gonna hit 63 hours on this dry fast. And am I thirsty? Yes. Am I exhausted? Yes, I'm definitely feeling weak. I am not really enjoying standing up at the moment. I am trying to just rest so that I can extend this dry fast longer. And so after 57 hours in on the dry fast, I was already down 12 pounds which is pretty freaking wild. So this morning I weighed in at 152.4, uh, 57 hours in. You know, I ended my 54 day long fast at uh, 142. So I'm 10 pounds away from that. Um, I don't know how long this dry fast is gonna go. I'm gonna keep it going until I feel like I need to break it. I need to turn on the fans. I feel like I'm sweating. That's not helping. I should probably stay out of my, my sauna. That's pretty much it. I don't know if I am resting because I'm genuinely tired or if because I just want this dry fast to go as long as possible. I really have had no bowel movement so far on day three. This is very different from the previous time. Um, my previous fast, um, I obviously started with water and I felt like I went with normal bowel movements and then it was definitely diarrhea at some point, like day three, two or three, between day two and four. And then, you know, the salt water mixture was definitely keeping me regular daily. So yeah, I actually realized now looking back that I actually did past parasites. So I'm making a video with more detail on that. Um, I had no idea. And then someone left a comment on my videos and was like, talked about parasites. And then I Googled like what, it, what a parasite looks like. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I thought there was just flesh coming out of my body when I was fasting but it was a parasite, so glad that's gone. Anyways, um, it's crazy how much energy goes into standing up and making a video because I'll be like fine, and I'm, I'm re I remember this during my other fast too. Anytime I'd stand up and make a video, I would just be like out of breath and like my heart's definitely pounding like as if I just went up a flight or two of stairs. So I am going through the comments and responding to recent videos, videos from weeks ago, and what I've noticed is there's a lot of nervousness around fasting for people that are first beginning. And now looking back, so I'm always trying to compare like day three and my experiences and how I felt versus my first 54 day long fast. And when I embarked on the journey of 54 days, um, there was some fear, there was some anxiousness, there was some nervousness, some anxiety because I really didn't know what to expect. You know, it was my first time doing it. You can watch videos, but everyone has such different experiences that you don't really know exactly how to approach it or just approach those feelings in general. So I'm reading through comments and people, you know, nervous and everything. And there was something very differently that happened when I started this fast. And I heard this somewhere recently that people get fear and excitement confused. And that's exactly it. I got fear confused or I got excitement confused for fear in my first fast. And as you can see in my video the last couple of days, there's just so much excitement for me to start this fast. And I'm experiencing nothing but excitement. Uh, time is going by faster. It's not like I'm waiting around. I'm not experiencing boredom like I did the first time. It's not like watching paint dry on a wall. It's so much different because I know what to expect and it's only good things that come out of fasting and that's why the excitement is there. 
So I just hit 68 hours in on my soft dry fast. Am I thirsty? A little bit, but I'm so close to hitting 88 hours, which was my previous longest dry fast. And I am very competitive when it comes to myself. So I want to beat myself. So I feel like I'll at least go to 88, um, but we shall see how things progress. So I've pretty much gone all day without my glasses today and yesterday. Um, and what I've noticed is my eyes actually don't feel strained before I would have a headache and that's not really happening. So I'm trying to close my eyes a little bit more, uh, just trying to stay away from using my glasses or my contacts because that's one of the things that I'm really gonna try to focus on this time fasting is improving my vision to see if there is a difference from my vision uh, the next time I check it versus a year prior. So that's all I have for you today. I hope that you have an amazing day and go out there and as always, create a life you love. If you are finding my videos helpful, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hope to see you soon.